let's get to Tableside and see what's happening next. Part of our project is let's make the sunflower at the top. And I only wanted part of a sunflower, so it was sort of just peeping in behind the spiral and the various other things that are going to be on here. The most important thing to think about when you've got a circle with shapes around it, these are basically, these petals are basically a keystone shape here, is finding the centre of the circle and then make sure everything points to the centre of the circle. Otherwise you won't have balance and it will look wonky and it'll never be quite right. And once you understand that and you see things that don't do that, you can't unsee it and it'll drive you crazy. So it's really important to do that. We've looked with at a number of times on how to cut petals. So I'll quickly go and cut some of those shapes in the, the typical triangles. And what I'm using for these ones is one, two, one, two, now one, I wouldn't two. Um, worry about getting the grinder out for these ones because these are so soft. Um, they're dead easy to do with just one of these um, sanding pads. So I have a little bit of a leftover scrap of wood. I set it against the edge of that and then just come in and give it a rub around. Give it a bit of a rub. So around. all I'm doing is taking off these nibbly bits. And there we have a nice smooth edge. So if I put my finger there, imagine I'm the grout line, you can see it was really quick, not even worth getting the grinder out for. So I'll uh, smooth off all of mine and then we'll look at um, gluing this on. We're all smoothed off now and we're ready to continue to glue. So remember thinking about the arrow and pointing to the centre of this circle up here that we did before. So to keep our... Um, focus ready. I've accidentally got a great big hole in my little baggie so I need to go carefully otherwise I'm going to paint myself with glue. So you can see I'm pointing that towards the center and I'll get the next one remembering that these are basically keystone shaped. I'll get the fattest one um, because we're going to shape it off uh, the last one nice big oh, fat yeah. wriggly worm pop it in place and you can see we've got a lovely big circle there for our sunflower and so pop it where you need it to be and draw your cutting line on and that's where I'm going to cut and finish the top part of this side of the flower and of course I can put the glob of glue on here if I want. I don't have to put it directly on the top. Just depends what your hands are doing and if they're working for you today. Mine are just being a little bit fussy. And there we've got that still pointing towards the focus. So we still can see our focal point here, but we may need to do some extra trimming of our um, lovely leaves. So that's very, very close to that edge. So I might just scoot it over a bit so that it's sort of close. Still pointing. And pop that scrap on, which happens to be just right for that posy. And of course, I need to build these bits. So these actually, this actually needs to come back a little bit. And the bits in here that need to follow the same principles because we are dealing with keystone shapes. They're petals, but petals. cutting line in. So I withdraw the grout line and then I cut the grout line off and mostly, fingers crossed, it fits. Not always. So with a bit of luck, that'll be the perfect fit. No, I'll have to go and give it a little bit of a rub because um, I didn't quite get that part of it off. Nice big blob of glue. Pop it in and I'm going to need one It still more. needs to look like it's a part of the flower and not um, something I just trying to find in my scrap box. 
look I've got a leftover bit so that's going to be the bit I'm going to use because I know it's exactly the right shape however you want I'm probably yeah. going to have the makings of my sunflower so you can see that let's let's just zoom out a bit so it looks pretty amazing doesn't it remembering this is what we need to do I'll just do pop it down on the ground and do you a proper shot <laughs> 